Uh, Alright, so I should have made a video about this like a while ago, but I just didn't. I don't know why. I, I, I thought the problem would pass, but anyway, I'm having an issue here with my NVIDIA drivers. In, in fact, installing any NVIDIA product um, here on out. I don't know what happened more or less, um, but you know, I update my drivers with the beta drivers um, usually, and you know, everything works fine and they install perfectly fine. And I got an update recently for the new GeForce Experience, which I also have installed on here. And um, usually what that update would do, you know, is it just gives you the better version and whatnot. Um, but it also updates your video driver, um, your video card driver to the, um, you know, latest update um, and beta update if uh, you choose to do, sh do so. But here's the issue I'm having. Whenever I go to install a driver or, or anything like an update for, for a program, it says the system must restart in order to install the file. So I'm thinking, all right, fine, system restart, I, I restart the system, and nothing happens. So I'm actually going to walk you guys through it. Um, here, let me just go into my, my files really quick. All right, so here I got, you know, the brand new beta driver, uh, 331.93. That's uh, the latest beta driver for my graphics card, and I also have the latest GeForce Experience on there as well. So if I go to, let's say, okay, I want to install the brand new beta drivers for my graphics card. So we'll click the install. We'll accept. Okay. And it's going to extract the files, and uh, the installation window will pop up. So, enjoy, enjoy the nice game backgrounds until then. Alright, I'm hoping one of you guys could, could fix this for me, or at least give me some tips, or maybe, maybe you guys somehow fix this issue if you, uh, if you came into contact with it, but I, I have no idea. I've tried looking it up, I can't find anything. So I, I need help. I need some of you computer whizzes out there to like really help me. All right, so here's the thing. It says, NVIDIA installer cannot continue. A system restart is required. Please restart the system and try again. All right, fine. Let's restart the system. Boom. All right, I'm, I'm restarting my computer right now. Let's see. Uh, this will finally work. Ugh. So, <laughs> um, I did beat AC4 over this weekend. It's actually a great game. Uh, I have yet to review it, though. I have not posted a review for it. But check back in the next couple of days on the website, and I'll have a review up for it, as well as Call of Duty Ghost, which I beat like a while ago. I also need to write a review for it. Uh... Sorry, this is taking a long guys, but yeah, yeah. Hopefully, one of you, one of you guys can like help me out here. I have like no idea. I really don't. I'm planning on building a new computer in like about two or three years, probably two years. I'm thinking more in 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 anticipation for you know Mirror's Edge coming out as well as Cyberpunk 2077 from um. CD Projekt Red. Those games are gonna look gorgeous on the PC. So I'm really, I'm really interested um, to build a brand new computer uh, in anticipation for those games. And I'm actually thinking of going AMD this time because I've been purely an Nvidia person, and I haven't actually dipped my dipped my toe into the AMD waters at all. But they have the brand new t uh, the brand new R9 280X which I had my eyes on and it looked amazing. Like the 280X looked awesome. If I can get like one that's factory overclocked, because I was looking like they have like a 384 bit memory, memory bus, um, like three gigs, three, four gigs of RAM. It's crazy. All right, hold on. I'm gonna type in my password. So 
So yeah, I was thinking of, you know what? Take the damn password. Alright. Alright, we're on. So yeah, I was thinking of building a brand new AMD rig. Like a, two, a 280X. Probably like 16 gigs of uh, DDR4 memory. Like DDR4 is supposed to be out pretty soon. So that'd be cool to get DDR4 memory. Probably, and I was actually thinking of, again, going with the AMD uh, FX 8-core processor. The new one, it's like 4 gigahertz. That would be sick. And also, uh, probably a, maybe a gigabyte motherboard, 750 watt power supply, a Blu-ray drive this time, instead of a, a DVD drive. That'd be great. Um, a Blu-ray drive. What else? I was looking at the case too. There's this case from Corsair. I forgot the name of it. But it has like a remote control fan on the top. Like you can actually control the speed of of the fan and it looks like really amazing. It's white. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, we're gonna wait here because my, my computer is set to automatically go to the desktop once everything loads up, but yeah, it looks really, I'm really seriously contemplating building a new one. And it's not because, you know, I mean, I'm excited for those games, especially Mirror's Edge. You guys know me and my history with the Mirror's Edge series. So for me, building one in anticipation for that game is a really exciting, exciting thing. I'm really excited for it. It's going to be cool. It's going to be really cool. Are you going to go to the desktop? Do I have to click it myself this time because I restarted the system? Okay. I guess I do. All right. Um, I'll wait till C Cleaner finishes its cleaning job. But yeah. Let me know what you guys think. Um, any of you got any of you AMD owners out there? If if you got like the new 280x to 290x, or even the ones that without the X at the end, <laughs> let let me know how um how you like them because the price range of the 280x is like unbeatable. It's like you get like a high, really high quality graphics card, like a hardcore graphics card for like 350, 400 bucks. It's amazing. It's awesome. It's freaking awesome. So yeah, I was uh I was just thinking about that. And DDR4, you know, with all the all the rumors of the speeds and everything about that, that that's gonna be some sick ass memory. All right, hold on. Sea cleaner is almost done, and it is. Uh, are you finished? Ninety percent. Ninety percent. Ninety percent. Come on. Come on. Okay. This video doesn't need to be ten minutes, but all right, it's done. <sighs> okay. So let's go uh, install this again. Um, we wanted to install these the beta drivers. Here we go. The beta drivers. All right, I restarted my system. Like it said, it's gonna do this extraction thing again. Extraction. Come on. Just load. Load. All right. So let's see what it's gonna say. It's booting up. And what? And what? Boom. Look, it's the same thing. It's like on a loop. <laughs> no matter how many times I restart, I, I had this error for like weeks now. I would say even over a month. And I've turned off and restarted and put my computer to sleep many times within that month. Alright, I've updated. It's all updated. It's fine. I, I have no idea why it's causing this. But I can't do anything about it. I have no idea what... I, I just have no idea at all. It doesn't seem to be, uh, you know, letting it fix itself. I'm kind of just been stuck. The current driver I have installed, let's actually find out what current driver I have installed on my system just, just to make sure. I have the
Where's the driver information? About? No. Where the hell is the driver information from when I when I looked this up? Components, non components. Display. No, do not want to do that. Nvidia technical support. Okay, I get it. It's this is display one. You don't need the system information. Ah, uh, uh, it's it's not gonna, it's not telling me what what driver I actually have installed on here. It's not gonna tell me that, of course. I think it's like three point two nine. So, something like that, actually. I wonder if um, GeForce will tell me if I go to GeForce.com. GeForce.com. If I go to uh, drivers, auto detect your GPU. Yeah, I think I have like a, a 3.29. Even if I don't, you know, it's it's uh, it's somewhere around there. It, you know, it's I would do. I think it's like 3.3s. It's fine. I think it's in the 3.3s actually. Is that one? That one's a 3.31. I think it's a 3.30. So, okay, here. Okay, I have. I'm actually was mistaking. Focus. Okay. Well, my camera will be stopping stupid. You can actually see. My current driver version is 3.3158. And I need to update it to 3.3182. It's not that far behind. But seriously, I, I can't do it. It's, it's not allowing me to. So let me know, guys, if you can find any fix for this. I'm sorry this video had to be 13 minutes. But I wanted to show you guys the whole process unedited. So um, hopefully you can get the best bet. But I've tried everything. I've actually went in and tried to uninstall NVIDIA GeForce. I thought that was a problem, the GeForce experience. And I tried to uninstall it, but it says, no, you have to restart your system to uninstall it because it opens the NVIDIA in, um, installer. So I'm like, all right, I tried to do a hard delete. I, uh, of course, created a restore point. I went to my program files. I went into the NVIDIA Corporation. I completely deleted the whole GeForce information and stuff, the whole GeForce file on here, GeForce Experience file. And that didn't seem to do anything at all. Yeah, that didn't seem to do anything at all. So let me know, guys, please. I need your help. And uh, hopefully you can find a fix to this. Otherwise, I'll see you guys later. And uh, I guess I'm going to be stuck on 3.31.58. Or 33, wait, 331.58. There we go. So many numbers. All right, thanks, guys. Bye.